okay so hello guys welcome back to the new video so in this video we're gonna make this uh, where we're gonna display our uh, elementor form data in a table okay so let me show the demonstration of the form which you're gonna make in this video so let me refresh this and uh, after refreshing you can see that uh, we have this form and all the form information are shown here in this beautiful manner okay so let me show the demonstration suppose if i submit a form data here uh, let's uh, submit a form data with the name of any uh, random name uh, Gil, suppose I name here uh, Gil Adam, and let's add a random uh, and let's add a random uh, email here. So Adam at the rate uh, Gil dot com, and let's enter a random message here. Hi there, and let's uh, we have to submit the form. So after so after submitting the form, let's wait for it. So it's saying that your submission was successful. So let's uh, refresh this once and see if it is shown in here. Okay, so you can see that after refreshing, we have this. Uh, we have this information here at the first the gil adam at the rate and okay so in this way you can uh, showcase your uh, elementor form data in this beautiful table okay so let me start the video and uh, we're gonna make this whole feature from scratch okay so for making this uh, we have to first go to our dashboard and uh, let me show that and uh, let me show the plugins which are required for making this okay so first uh, i'll show you the plugins so the plugins which are required are the uh, uh, Elementor and the Elementor Pro and that table sub plugin. Okay, so for uh, downloading this plugin, you have to go to this official website. So let me go to here and here you have to go to that table sum official website. So, uh, so just write it here table sum plugin WordPress. So after opening this, it will take you to a official website of this. Uh, you will not get uh, this plugin in the plugin repository of the WordPress. So you have to download this plugin from the official website so after going here you have to click this uh, get it for free so after clicking it will uh, and uh, it will show you to enter a uh, uh, email and first name and last name so when you subscribe so it will sh uh, so it will send a uh, email to your uh, account so let me show you the account uh, okay so let me show the email which is uh, which will come after submitting the form so let's me go to my gmail account and here i will show you the email which will come after you will submit the form so here is where uh, you will receive the email from the this website okay so you have to just click on this uh, download the plugin free version so when you download it it will download a zip file for you like this okay so you have to just install all of this plugin from uh, all of this plugin and let's start making this okay so first you have to install you have to go to the uh, elementor settings and from here you have to go to the settings and from uh, and from here go to the features option and after going to the feature option you have to go to the submission uh, you will find this feature at the last so here uh, you will find the form submission so you have to just make it active and just save the changes okay so after saving the changes you have to go to the pages option so let's make it from scratch so I'm so let's go to the all pages and here I'm gonna make a new page so let me make a new page here so this is our old form submit data page where we are showcasing all this feature so let me name this form 2 okay so let me name this form 2 and here we're gonna choose the uh, elementary canvas so we get the blank page for making our form okay so after that uh, let me show you one more thing you have to first uh, okay so let me show the themes which is uh, i'm using so i'm uh, using the official uh, hello elementor theme you can use any theme which is uh, uh, which works perfectly with the elementor plugin page builder okay so after that so let's go to the pages and here i'm gonna open my new page so let me edit this here in in a new tab so after editing you have to go here and uh, here go and edit with elementor okay so after editing with elementor we're gonna make the same layout or let's make a different layout so right now we have this type of layout so you can see that when i submit the data it will showcase all the information here and here also i have this search option suppose i want to search any field so if i search here you can see that we have the live uh, ajax search here also in this table okay so after that you will get also here filter option and a sorting option so i will show you how you can add such type of details okay so right now you can see that we have this blank canvas so let's go here and we're going to choose the css flexbox for this so if you know the css the uh, using of the elementor is very uh, simple because the elementor is totally based on the css flexbox and the css grid properties now after the new update okay so for that after that we have to enter this and let's choose a new container and here you have to choose the uh, width so let me choose the 1400 max width 
okay so after that you have to go to the advanced and here just add uh, 80 padding from the top and 80 padding from the below okay so let me enter a text here so let me add any random text so so elementor form data in a table okay so i'm just making this very fast because i'm not focusing on the design in this video so let's me make a basic layout uh, here i'm going to just increase the font size of this okay so after that let's say let's update this then after that we have to for making uh, you you can see that here we have the two section layout so let me make this same after that we going to choose the flexbox again here we going to choose the two section layout and after that let's uh, remove all the padding and here also uh, we can go to the layout and here we going to choose 1400 width for this also and okay so after that let's uh, copy this here and here we going to paste this and let's uh, write it here submit the form and let's uh, make it uh, go to this and here we're going to make this center okay so let's me increase uh, decrease the font size little bit okay 26 is perfect so let me change the color of this also here we're going to choose a random red so after that we're going to add the form here so let's add this form here okay so after that we have this form so let's uh, uh, design this form little bit we don't want the label okay so uh, for the input size we're going to make this medium and after that uh, for the submit button let's go to submit button here and here in the send option we're going to write here submit data and after that in the field option we're going to make it medium okay so let's go to the styles option and here in the uh, we're going to change its color so let me change its color to uh, uh, bluish one or we're going to make the reddish color also for this okay so let's make it a little bit different okay so our form is ready so just you have to go to the uh, content uh, and here you will find some option so let's choose the form here we're gonna go to content here in the action after submit you have to just choose the collect submission and remove the email if you don't if you don't remove the email then your form will not submit because we have not done the uh, SMTP for our form so you have to just remove the uh, email option and just to choose the collect submission because we only want to collect the submission in the backend so after that let's update this okay so let's open our page in a new tab so you can see that our form is now ready now just we have to make uh, this uh, table to showcase our form data okay so for for that we have to go to the here in the this and here from here we're gonna go to the new table okay so let's make a new table for this so by default uh, you can see that here let's give the table name uh, data so let's name this data submit to and after that uh, what we have to do we have to go to the trigger option and here you will find the uh, elemental on form submit so when someone submit the elemental form it will trigger okay so here we have to choose the form id so right now we are getting a two form id okay so let me choose this form id and because this is and here add room so here you can see that uh, okay okay so let's uh, save the table here and after saving the table you can see that we have uh, this type of data here and uh, let me go to the uh, here in the elementary form so we're gonna see what is the form id of this okay so for seeing the form id i think we can go to advance okay so let me do one thing uh, here we're gonna add a random field one more field so let's add a new field here we're gonna choose the number and here in the label i'm going to write uh, phone number so uh, because we have the same form both that's why so here we're going to write uh, mobile number okay so after that let's drag and drop this above the message and let's update this again okay so now let's get back to the table option and here we can we are already saved this table so let's save this table again and uh, okay so uh, let's uh, so let's go to a new table again so here we're gonna make the new table again or we can go to all tables so let's edit the our old table okay so okay so here you can see that we have this data submit too so let's edit the table in a new tab so <clears throat> 
okay so let's wait for it to open and uh, this is open now you can see that uh, we have here auto detect so we are not getting the phone number option so let's uh, change the form id from here we're gonna choose this form id okay so you uh, you can see that after changing the uh, form id we are uh, we are uh, having this new field so means our form is perfectly linked to this and after that uh, let's uh, wait for it to uh, load Okay, so it is loaded. Now you have to just copy the shortcut from here. Just copy the shortcut and go to here. And after that, let's uh, copy this here too. And here also, we're gonna make this uh, center and center. Okay, just uh, make this start. So here we're gonna show uh, form data to table. Okay, so after that, we have to go to widget option and here let's search for shortcut. So this is the uh, shortcut which is coming from the peak. And okay. Uh, so now we have to go to the table option and okay so here we have to copy the shortcut okay so let me copy the shortcut and here we have to pay the shortcut okay so uh, right now it is not visible because uh, we are not live so let's update this and we're gonna refresh our front end so after refreshing you can see that we are getting this form data here but right now we don't have any submission so let's submit a form here form data so let's enter a random name alex Alex at the rate gmail.com and enter uh, and enter a uh, random mobile number and let's enter a random message hi there let's submit the data so you can see that your submission was successful let's refresh the page again to see if it is fast the data or not so you can see that it has successfully fast the data but right now we are getting some blank uh, uh, here so for fixing this what we, we can do we can go to the table option again and here you can just go here choose the column and you uh, you can delete this column from here okay so and you can do one more thing you can go to this uh, setting option and from here you can add uh, show filter and show export option and show serial number okay then after that you can go to this here themes option and here you can change the layout if you want to change so i don't want to change the design and all so let's update the table again so this is updated let's uh, refresh my front end and uh, after refreshing uh, you can see that we have this so let's submit the form data again alex alex at the rate gmail.com any random mobile number hi there and let's submit the data okay so let's refresh this so after refreshing you can see that we have this alex uh, and this column name is still coming so for that uh, what we have to do we have to just uh, refresh this one more time okay so after refreshing you can see that we have this here so just click on the column and just delete this and also we can delete uh, this row here and also here you can delete this row again okay so let's uh, uh, update the form again update the update this and after updating let's refresh it again here okay so now let's try to submit a, again a new form data so let me write it here ravi ravi at the rate gmail.com any random number hi there ravi and let's submit the data so your submission was successful let's refresh our front end and here you can see that our submission is properly coming here also we have the submission date here if you want if you don't want to show the submission date you can hide it from the backend and uh, you can also export this in the csv file which you can open uh, which you can open in your excel suppose you have so many submissions so you can open that so if you want to remove this submission date just click on this and from here you can uh, delete this column okay so let's uh, uh, update this table again so after that let's uh, refresh our front end and we're gonna do the final submission now okay so every everything is done so let's submit a new form submission uh, let's add adam adam at the rate gmail.com any random number hi hi adam and let's submit the data so your submission was successful let's refresh our front end so after refreshing you can see that we have this all information coming here like this okay so i hope you understand how you can showcase your uh, elementor form data in this manner so if you like our video please like and subscribe our channel and subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends i'm gonna see you next time